For me, it is building relationships with my students. Uh, we spend four to five days together for nearly 180 days a school year. So um, that's a long time to not have a little fun and get to know one another. So I love that teaching provides me the opportunity every school year to meet 100 plus new students and build relationships with them. Um, so I hope 10, 15 years from now, they look back and they remember how I treated them and that I treated them with kindness, that I supported them and I encouraged them and my class was one class they looked forward to coming to. I think Ms. Swafford is deserving of Teacher of the Year because she's the most down-to-earth teacher and probably the best teacher that has ever taught me in high school. Ms. Swafford is hands down the best math teacher I've ever had by far. She's just extremely patient, extremely organized. She's always willing to help. If you don't get it at first, she'll keep um, working with you until you understand it. I think one thing that sets Ms. Swafford apart is how she is able to balance being a teacher and a friend to the kids. She really loves to connect with all of them, but she's also here to make sure that they're going to succeed. I love um, what a great leader Miss Swafford is and how she leads by example. I think that the kind of leader that Miss Swafford is sets her apart, um, but also I think how she cares for everyone around her, not only the students, but all of her peers. And um, it just goes to show in her work and how she teaches, how much she cares for all of her students. I wish Miss Swafford knew how much people around her looked up to her. I think, every, I think she needs to know that people around her want to show her how much that we value what she does and we really look up to her. People students, teachers, all alike. I derive joy from helping people, so, um, or, you know, just being there. And I think that's for a lot of the time, in a lot of cases, that's all you have to do is just kind of be there and that's enough. My students, I, I just want them to leave with that kind of confidence to try something and see what happens and not be afraid of failure. And sometimes I feel people get a little too scared to get out of their comfort zone and that's where actual growth happens is organized but also is able to adapt and change his course and it is very accommodating. He's just wonderful and really makes, makes sure you know what the material you're covering is about. I wish I had half the amount of energy that he has. Um, so he fills up the room every time he walks in and I know that his students must feel that too. So him being able to bring his best every day um, which is very obvious when he's bringing his best. Um, it's something that I think just lifts your spirits up, even if you just see him in passing conversation. He's always um, willing to give advice, willing to help, and just always putting the school and the staff um, first. I love his sense of humor. Um, he has the ability to walk into a room and to elevate the mood. I wish that he knew that he has definitely been the reason why I have walked away from a difficult day with a better um, attitude. The best thing about teaching is just loving my students, uh, getting to share in their lives, and uh, establishing lifelong relationships. When my students leave my class, I want them, first of all, I want them to know, number one, that uh, I love them. I want them to know it's okay to take risk and to uh, do the things that scare you. I want them to know that uh, when you get where you're going, keep going. Coach Jackson is deserving of Teacher of the Year because he not only gives his all to his students, but he gives his all to his coworkers and his football team. Coach Jackson is a good teacher because he makes it to where his students actually want to try in class and he's always engaged in our lessons and he makes it very interesting. I mean, he just has a way of connecting with kids from all walks of life. You don't necessarily see that too often anymore. Any kid that walks in that door, they know they're going to get 100% from him no matter what and he's going to try to make that connection with them. Coach Jackson uh, has never had a bad day. Um, at least we wouldn't know that. His attitude, like I said earlier, is uh, He's just happy-go-lucky, and I think that has a lot to do with his teaching ability and his connection with his students. Well, I know every time that I need, you know, maybe a little bit of perspective or a pick-me-up, you know, talking to him for five, ten minutes, and I can just run through a wall and not feel a thing. 